Hello everybody, this is Adrian for Wipecard Online and I'm all about the details. This is the Link & Co 05, it's the Porsche twin to the Geely Singer which we have reviewed in the previous video. There seem to be a lot of interest in the Link & Co brand, so we're here to bring you on a full review of this Link & Co 05 SUV Coupe. Just like the Singer, it rides on the compact modular architecture CMA platform which also underpins the Volvo XC40. It stands 1,628mm tall, 1,879mm wide and spans 4,592mm in length. Wheelbase stretches to 2,734mm, so visually it's a big car but it's actually around the size of a Toyota RAV4 and Honda CR-V. This is the Link & Co 05 Power Halo variant. In China, this particular variant retails for 212,800 Chinese yuan, which translates to around 133,000 ringgit, give or take. The 05 range has a selling price of between 175,000 to 235,000 Chinese yuan. To be honest, despite the Link & Co brand has been around since 2016, the design language is still very much a novelty on the road. We wouldn't call it an oddball, but it definitely screams hipster which is in line with the brand image of Link & Co. But because not many people are familiar with the Link & Co brand, especially this 05 Coupe SUV, it commands a lot of wow factor. My colleague in China who sent this test drive report told me that a Porsche Macan owner asked whether this Link & Co 05 cost as much as her Macan. Winner law. Design-wise, in pictures I wouldn't describe the 05 as attractive. Lots of complex curves and bold lines going around, and the front fascia looks like something they've picked up from Porsche's design waste bin. But once you've seen it in person and get up close and personal, you appreciate the intricacy of the design elements that the designers have put into the 05. There are virtually no flat panels anywhere. Every part of the car has a line cutting across or a vent sticking out. If you're someone who oogles at design elements, maybe the 05 is for you. Stepping inside, the cabin design language is typical of Link & Co, minimalistic with flashes of high-tech bits. The 05 is clearly targeted at a more active group of buyers. The materials used in here is typical of what you find in Mercedes-AMG line, BMW M Sport or Audi S line variants. Red stitching, sport seats, Alcantara panels, black headlining are all present in the 05. There's even a button to open up the glove box, quite a nice touch. But the star of this cabin is this 10 speaker infinity surround sound system. It has 4 tweeters, 4 mid bass speakers, 1 subwoofer and 1 center mid range speaker. The sound quality is rich with great clarity. Compared to the Singuous Bose with overly heavy bass, the 05 is proper stuff. However, just like the Singuet, the 05 does not support Apple CarPlay nor Android Auto. As for rear passenger room, knee room is as spacious as a Honda CR-V because of the way the seats are sculptured and also the fact that the wheelbase of the 05 is slightly longer than a Honda. But for those who are above 180cm tall, your hair will be brushing the roof. Boot space is estimated to be around 330 plus litres, slightly better than the Singuet. Interestingly, to open the power tailgate, it's operated by touch and the sensors are around the Link & Co logo. Fancy, but when you need to dump your grocery bags on a rainy day, not pretty. Under the hood packs a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder drive e-petrol engine with 254 horsepower and 350Nm of torque paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission. It's the same engine found in the Volvo XC40 T5 and Singuia. In the real world during 100 sprint test, the Link & Co 05 would do 7.2 seconds, which is plenty fast for an SUV that weighs 1.7 tons. Driving experience is quite interesting because despite sharing the same platform as the XC40 and Singuia, all three cars have very different characteristics. The XC40 is sharp and nimble while the Singuia is softer and more comfortable. The 05 is in between the two and Link & Co has struck the best balance between comfort and dynamism. Steering is weighty and sporty but not to the point where it's tiring to drive. You still get decent feel through your fingertips and bum when you feel like taking up a mountain pass once in a blue moon. But for the rest of the time you use the car for, which is on regular city and highway commute, the right quality is what you expect from a premium continental car. That firm and reassuring ride yet does not feel jarring. But when you start to push and use the car, you find that the 05 is close to a European car in terms of ride and handling, but lacks that final bit of finesse that ties everything together. But for the price you're paying, it's already a winner. 
MVH levels are close to, if not better than some entry-level premium cars. In the 05, you find lots of insulation materials in the panels and double glazed windows. People always say that Proton is a Volvo on a budget, but I argue that the Lincoln Co. is the closest thing you can get to a Volvo without having to pay Volvo price tag. In conclusion, the Lincoln Co. 05 character's breakdown is 60% comfort and 40% sporty. For a family SUV, this is as complete of a package as you can get. Compared to its class rivals at this price point, the 05 has many best. It has the best driving experience, best engine performance, best NVH, and the most novel design language, which is a big deal in China. Because with over 25 million new cars to hit the road every year, many will pay to stand out. The Link & Co 05 is definitely not for those who go by the book and thinks of resale value by the end of 20 years because they will go for a Honda or Toyota. The 05 will appeal to those with strong individuality and expressive personality. Someone who drinks cold brew Arabica coffee in the morning, goes to fine art galleries on first dates, someone who dares to be different. Oh, before you ask, nope, it's not coming to Malaysia. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think of Link & Co 05 and whether would you like to see more Link & Co cars on this channel. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Download the official Webcar app on Apple App Store and Google Play Store for all your latest reviews, news and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car.